Niche from Black Bull Markets. Behind me, the chart of gold, massive selling pressure. Since the market opened around 1765, it was ticking as soon as we got the first prices in for gold. Big liquidity gaps heading all the way below $1,700 an ounce. That's a 3% move following that $1,800 sell off when the jobs, jobs figure came out at NFP. Now, what is causing this? Well, we had a massive beat on the NFP number, close to a million new jobs created in July. Now, what does that lead to? That possibly leads to the Federal Reserve looking to hike rates sooner than expected. Now, that caused significant dollar strength across the board where we've got a lot of rebalancing back into the market uh, in correlation with pre-COVID levels. Now, what that also means is that we could see inflation cooling off in the US and that turns attention to CPI data forthcoming in the week. Now, where has gold stopped? Gold selling's kind of stopped ever since the market's open. It's been open for about a couple of hours now and we've come down below 1682. We can see a big wick formation here. Prices have reversed about $40 an ounce in a matter of 15 minutes and we saw a big rejection of that 1680 level in which we've had a previous double bottom here back in March and April. We could see it form a triple bottom structure with the fast rejection at 1681. However, one thing to note is that when you do get fast moves like this and big wick formations, we could see a liquidity uh, continue to push lower and markets look to fill that wick before looking at a further move, potentially rejecting that area again to push higher or looking at further moves to the downside. Of course, markets are pricing in a lot of volatility at the moment. So if you are trading this, do stay cautious because spreads are wider than usual and you could very well get poor execution here with the low liquidity levels in the market. So one thing to note on the higher time frames is possible directions for the next cut. You can see that rejection candle at 1680 was a clear support area March and April as we outlined earlier. However, we do have another congestion zone from May of last year, which also outlines similar price areas of support. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means that gold could face some struggles heading further lower as it's been well supported. Wick rejection now. If we do get a break, we are looking of a close below 1680 and then you're heading into this big area here all the way down to 1500. What is the likelihood of that happening? Well, we're going to have to wait and see. But if the dollar does continue to strengthen, we could see gold lose value. When gold moves, it does move fast, as we've known from today's market move. So trade safe and all the best.